Hello and welcome everyone to a mega public special event. I'm your host Lillian today. Oh. And we are playing the Game of Thrones okay. mod for Crusader Kings 2 during Robert's Rebellion. I'm playing as the Westerlands, as Tywin Lannister himself. Uh, you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves now. Let's start with Kramer. Kramer? The present conflict does not concern the Reach. We have crops that need sowing and lies that need tending. And how exactly did the Kramers come to power in the Reach? Well, it was a very bloody affair that left only myself and my young daughter alive at the end. You could almost say it was a war of assassinations where everyone was afraid to come outside their own home. But luckily the Tullys met their end in the gazebo in the garden that they tended. Interesting. All right, Frolics. I am dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Prince Doran, the first of Dorn. He's ill right now. He has a daughter too. And uh, he's supporting the Iron Throne. That is all. Tarans. I am Lord Paramount Robert Baratheon of the Stormlands, soon to be king on the Iron Throne and ruler of all of Westeros. Loth? Playing as old man Aaron, freezing to death in the Vale since 8,225. Uh, 8, what a pretty place. Yeah. Meevil? Well, I am evil, and I play as the starts of Winterfell. And last, and not least, Ermac. I am Ermac, and I'm playing Lord Paramount Balon in the Iron Island. All right, we're gonna start this. I'm gonna Who go ahead and Who are you, Lorelian? What'd you say? Who are you? Not that the people can't see it. But... Oh, I I had given an introduction of myself. Uh, while, because they can hear everything that I say, regardless of whether or not I'm saying it on TeamSpeak. But if you must know, I am Lord Tywin Lannister himself. Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. And former Hand of the King. And with the help of the seven, possibly future hand of the king. That is a tempting offer. I'll have to think it over a little. I think beyond the wall, old gods should be an old gods heresy. That's just my opinion. The end. Yeah, it probably should. I mean, like, when the wildlings come south, they're like, Oh, you worship our gods. Yeah, I gave my brother Castamere. It may or may not have been the best idea. Oh, also, everyone remember not, especially you people who haven't played the mod before, not to put more than five chances in the same space. Yeah. Not to what? Don't put more than five counselors in the same space. The game will explode. Uh, okay. I'm going to go to speed two.
And I'm also gonna take advantage of the chaos. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna march on King's Landing. And then we're gonna choose a side. It seems like the most logical. There's a province called Planky Town. If I was a lord, I would not want to come from Planky Town, because no one would take me seriously. There'll be better opportunities. He's too old for my business, so I'm saying. So I've chosen a side. So you chose the right side. We are going to go ahead and basically take King's Landing. suicide charge me. There we go. <gasps> Rightfully so.
perhaps we'll wait just a second on marrying Cersei. And it appears victory is ours, your grace. Getting bigger. No. Back into the Iron Throne. And then we see how the Tower of Joy goes. Tywin Lannister once again becomes a guard, and Lyanna is safe. Interesting. Ah, uh, we'll let these merchants in. What? As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with uh, stories of his travels, his appetite seems insatiable. Tell us tales of VMT. Uh, he's gonna want my help. So, how's life in the Reach? Where is him at the moment?
Yeah, I became master of arms. Why is my character a homophobe? I don't know why you're such a homophobe. Well, I'll tell you why, because I got this option of a queer acting fellow, and I can either accuse him of being a sodomite or tell everyone he's a sodomite. It's kind of like... The same thing. I'd rather just let him do his job. Oh, someone is winning the war. So let's. I forgot again, if I declare someone inside the realm of the Iron Throne while I'm myself inside the Iron Throne, will the king declare war on me? While you're in the Iron Throne? Yeah. No. Okay, good, because I'm taking land from the crossing. I just don't want the Mr. King over there, Rob, to come and destroy me. Targaryen, she's too old to marry. I think George R. R. Martin named Robert, Robert, King Robert, instead of Rob to avoid confusion. died? Well, Benjamin's still alive, so we're good. <laughs> Poor dead Ned. You didn't even get to have any children. And the Warden of the North is married to a halfling princess. Oh, I'm the Warden of the North, awesome. And the Warden of the East? What? I um, apparently the Warden of the North I and the East. a different decision. The whole Northeastern area. I will gladly join your grace's wars. And, and not send troops. It's a good thing he can't hear me when I'm not taking that shit. Not shit to control. Does not pick like me. Make the decisions I want to make. And what decisions do you want to make, your grace? Look, I think that event is bad because Liana died in childbirth. It's <laughs> an interesting theory. That I like a lot. Giving birth to Jon Snow. Event in the Silets at Apparently Steve. I'm no long Apparently Liana? I'm no longer ambitious. immediately gets a divorce apparently. He decided it wasn't worth it. It's like, oh I'm king. Wait, now. what happened? 
uh, King Robert married Liana, and now he's divorced with her. <laughs> still married nice. Liana. Still married to her. Uh, I was divorced. Not. Now I'm in love with her. Or now I'm married to her again. But she's in love with Rhaegar, and Rhaegar impregnated her, and made her make Jon Snow. She's just got to suck it up being married to Robert then. I know. It's horrible. This our Jon Snow equivalent? Is that even well, I know the theory and I really like the theory. The theory is that basically Liana and Rhaegar are they they were together, they ran off, they were in love, and Liana died in childbirth. There's a lot of things that back that up. If you read the books. I like it. But some of those things involve spoilers for people who have not read the book, so we're not going to talk about that so much, and we are going to change history. Where's this guy's cap? Oh. I see the Tyrells are trying to take power back. So we get to rape and pillage the Reach without him punishing me for it. Yep, the entirety of the Reach will hate me by the end of this. And siege. So how's life up there, Ermac? Yeah, you know, a lot of iron. <laughs> Bringing back Fish. the standard. Mm-hmm. Trying to become independent. Those are some bold words. Mm-hmm. Oh, thy king, shall you give me independence?
carrying my little girl off to the reach is an investment and well quite honestly if this investment doesn't pay off there would be hell to pay. Higher reach will hate me before this is over. <laughs> what do you even call him? <laughs> that? Surely yes. Long live the king. King Stannis the first. I will go to Stannis' coronation. Though I do expect to be made hand of the king for the way I served uh, your brother in the past. What, did the king die? Yep. Lord Stannis now. <laughs> Who is also now married to Lyanna. She's a black widow. Sahar things in the north. Cold. Still morning for Robert and Ned. Your uh, your false hair just died up in the north, huh? I 
I think that was actually Jon Snow. It was Valar Targaryen. Yeah, I think canonically is supposed to be Jon Snow. Yeah, I think it is supposed to be Jon Snow. I think they're sort of indulging in the, uh... The theory. The most it's believed like... theory about Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, you know what? You don't have to worry about him anymore. Drop all those conspiracies out the window. He never even lived past age, what, like three? Two. <laughs> yep. Well, at least Leon is still alive and queen. And really married to Stannis. I'm just happy a Targaryen didn't get the throne to the north. That's all I'm saying. Someone was trying to kill me, so they are going to suffer the consequences. I can't help but notice that I hadn't been made Hand of the King yet. are dropping like flies. And now we have Renly Baratheon. <laughs> I tried my best to prepare him, I really did. Oh, okay. I haven't paid a fighter to teach him, but he made his fighting skill worse. Who is Dorn again? Frolix. Yo, Frolix. Yo. I just broke free from the king as well, so you know. I got your back. Awesome. I got 15k. Yeah, you get to finish the king again. I'm on my own war, but yeah. I'm gonna take his word for it that he just simply doesn't know how to click the button.
here's the other issue. I don't want Castly Rock sack. Where are your troops, uh, Rolex? I'll send my 50k um, to you. They are in Blackhaven. Wait, he's moving his troops away from his capital? Where is that? This. Oh yeah, there, I see it. Uh, well, my ships are on their way. Just make sure you don't make a separate piece until I'm finished. I wish to get my independence first. Throw our best guys on this. Why does it see us as enemies? Says Dorn is hostile against me because I'm at war with the king. Only uh, war I have is against the Iron I'm not 100% sure why that is the case. Is Dorn trying to break away? I, I think, think they, they want. They want... Maybe, if I don't it's know. just a war for tyranny, then you're technically at war with the realm which Dorn is. <gasps> technically part of but nobody else is a hostile attitude against me just the worm I'm it says I'm hostile towards the Iron Isles due to their war on their nominal liege yeah My game crashed. Uh, you said your game crashed? Save. Oh, yeah, crashed. Alright, saved it. Alright. 